Anyone? It's Christmas. So guess what? Today we'll do some unboxing. We have a zip tie. Don't forget those. Those will make your bike faster. So, in order to get the uh, the engine running on uh, the CA50, I needed a uh, CDI for Yamaha Zuma. So I'll just that's still a stock CDI. There's nothing special about it. It has a five pins, um, I'll show you later, it has five pins on the original one too. That should be very easy. Right. Second is this intake manifold. will fit nice for our stock uh, carb if you just want to get it to run. And then number two is this big one. I'm not going to try and squeeze it through but you get the idea. We squeeze it through and you can put a big carburetor on. We can run whatever we want. <sighs> Aluminum radiators from Forge Racing. I repeat, these are aluminum radiators from eBay, because they cost 40 bucks. Um, you can see they're not, they're not perfect, but they're light, they're very, very thick, and they will do the job. We probably have to modify some of the brackets, but they look decent, and for the price, the price that was paid, it's not too much. It's one side. We have here. We have the other side. The size of these, the bike will be like half, half radiator. And funnily enough, that was all for the for the CA. What I'm going to show you now is a little bit something I got to build this engine next to me here, um, which is a Vespa slash Stella LMO engine. Uh, we're gonna put some power into it. So this is, right, this is a PHPH 30. I like carburetors, I really do. Um, it's a bit of a shame that this is in plastic, but other than that, it comes with choke. Pretty. What's nice, you don't have to take the, the float pole off to change the jets. Just unplug here. I already have one of these. Uh, oh. Oh. PHB 28, which is a little bit smaller. I mean, smaller inside. And this is way old. You can see this this guy has been through some stuff already. But I had it. I'll keep it. So this is what they look like new. Oh I guess this was made in 2016. I like them. Pretty quality. I prefer the lot over any Kaihin rebuilds. Is there a reason for it? Probably not. It's just preference. Next up. Uh, 
Ey, Ansaugummi. Ey, it's the rubber that, go, that goes from the carburetor into the frame. This is nice. Next up, shifting cross. The old shifting cross is done. I mean, whenever you open up an engine, I think it's best to just replace the shifting cross. Cruciform, how it's, how it's named. Schaltkreuz in Deutsch. I prefer that word. And then, SIP. Oh, bearings. It's a bearing set. These will go into the cooler, uh, in the freezer. So I'll put them in tomorrow. Now this is something I'm a bit more excited about. Um, it's a reinforced clutch from SIP. I think it has a lot more springs. Uh, I'm not gonna call myself an expert on this. I really haven't taken this apart. But barely taken apart normal Vespa clutches, but apparently this is the shit, so when replacing a clutch, I guess we, we wanted to go with something reinforced and this seems pretty decent. I mean, it, it's nicely, it's a banded clutch so it doesn't bend open and we're, we're aiming to do, to make some pretty nice power with this engine, so they will help get the power to the rear wheel. Gaskets. All right, uh, I'll take this out and I'll explain really quick why. So what we have here is the, uh, the Molossi intake, which bolts on on the hole, I don't know what you call it, the intake hole on the engine cases. Um, what's nice about them, you can just bolt this on with a bigger carb on your rotary intake, and there you go. But we're, um, we're gonna be running uh, LML reeds, which bolt in between. It would be nice. The reason why we had to go with Molossi here is because Molossi, from, from what we looked at, was the only one that provided with a cover for the oil, for the uh, the oil pump. So the oil pump drive used to be here on the original carburetor, the SI carburetors on the Vespa engine. And um, if you had an engine without an oil pump, there wouldn't be a hole in it, but there is on this, so you need to plug it up. Molossi gives it this whole surface. Polini, on the other hand, doesn't. Um, I got this a while ago, I never got into mounted. Um, I'll probably mount it on my wife's LML. But what bothered me is that there was no hole, and I'm pretty sure there's a way to plug it up, but this is just no questions asked. You just bolt it on, and there it is, it's done. You don't have to worry about it. So this is, this is very nice. Good, nicer. Ugh. All right. What is this? Siri Pro. Oh yeah, yeah. So this is a Matsu Kelly. Matsu Kelly. Crankshaft. It's already balanced. And it's flowed. I'm not gonna take it out because I'm gonna show it later, but you can you can see here that it's it's kind of flowed. So what it does is it it increases your flow from your intake into your, your cylinder into your cylinder port. Um, very well balanced, but why this crankshaft? Because it has 60 millimeter stroke, so we're getting three millimeter more stroke, which with the cylinder I'm, I'm just about to show you will get us to uh, about 187, I think, 187 cc. This with the bearings is going to go into the freezer as well overnight. I've already taken this out because. Would you be able to hold yourself? I, I wouldn't. So, let's let's look at some of this stuff. We got to 62.9 
millimeter piston, um, two piston rings. I like the coating on the on the piston. This coating is on to uh, reduce friction between the piston and the, the cylinder. I got a splinter. Um, it's the first one, number A. 62.92. Um, I actually would like to know where they are made. Oh, it's a vertex piston. So it's not some lower quality stuff from beyond the pool. It's a bit nasty inside, but that's just production. I like it, looks good. One of the higher quality pistons I have. I have two piston rings. Here. They are both the same. I, I read it up earlier, so there's no deal. We have the pin. We have the clips. I I don't know why the Vespas all come with these clips. I'm, I've seen clips like this break, but... I mean, we're not going 13,000 RPM here. The head... Aside from being full of styrofoam, it's interesting. So it's a divided head. Um, which means we could, if we wanted to, mess around with uh, different heads. Um, and I think at some point we will. I, I don't know the compression on this one. It probably probably somewhere but as you can see hold on let me bring this up close it's well well done like it's far from the quality of a DR head uh, if you get the DR 177 that's just very ugly I'm I'm questioning the blue color in here probably just grind it off I we go and blast it. But yeah, and this has orange for some reason. Um, it looks nice. It's also made from aluminum. It will help a lot with the cooling. These are both made with aluminum. They give you a lot of surface and surface here, so they will they'll give me some nice uh, some nice cooling on the head. And I think that's the reason why they can run a smaller squish. But again, I'm I'm not a, that big of a tuner. Um, People can yell at me in the comment section again. Yeah, you can see here. We so they they do two kits, one with a centralized uh, spark plug, one with the side, just for the ease for for my friend to work on his bike if it breaks down or something. We just went with the side one. And then the cylinder, 63 uh, millimeter bore. Supposedly 187 cc is what it is, but the ports are really nice. Um, they're very large. You can see here how they really, here, really widely feed into the cylinder. Same here, they're really good. The alum aluminum is of decent quality. There's some, there's some crap in here from the coating, um, and you can see. Can you hear? The exhaust port uh, just needs some cleaning. I'll I'll run that with the Dremel. That shouldn't be a big deal. But I think it looks good. I've I've seen worse. Yeah. Um, what I'm really excited about is the three port one, two, three. So a main exhaust port with two boosters. I think this has really low port timings. Um, I'll get to measure those when I get there, but. We're running it with a boxed exhaust, so it would be perfect for the street with some nice torque. I already did uh, align the casings to the cylinder, that's why I took it out. So I just I 
Couldn't wait. There you go. Parma Kid 187. I know, it just came all nicely wrapped up. But it's for show, sure, right? More side. Ashton Shamer that goes in, kind of stops after the first, you know, tube section. Again, English sometimes with me. It's kind of hard. And then they put the box around. Due to the fact that this tube is so big, you can see here, the box is really, really thick. Um, there are issues with running this on like old rally frames and stuff, you know, on older frames. But yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited about this. I, I myself run the Zip 2.0, which has a little bit of smaller exhaust tubes. My wife does the same. She runs the 2.0, and we're both very happy with the results. So this will add some power and be quiet. Yeah. The boxed exhaust had this very specific like, pop, 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 pop sound. And it's not as annoying as an expansion chamber. Well, annoying. I do, I do like my expansion chambers. But you get what I mean. What was, what has been annoying to me though on the SIP exhaust is this. Why is it welded in now? I think they they learned their lesson. This bolt has never. I've never been able to put the bolt through and get it into this nut. I always just broke this off and put my own nut on. It's a bit more fiddly, but at least you know what that is hold that it holds when you put a, uh, a safety nut on. And that's it. Um, I think it's Christmas. I'll show you some parts. In the next episode, I'll finally get to wrench. It's been a, a busy month because we just moved. So yeah, I'm excited. Um, I hope you are too. Uh, do me a favor. Hold on. Do me a favor, if you like this content, go and check out um, my old videos. Go and check out my old videos, they're like probably somewhere here. And then uh, subscribe to my channel and check out the uh, the channel of my, my sponsor, Diablo. They just, um, they just launched a new series of, of videos and they're very nice. They're in French, but if you speak French, I think you really enjoy them. We're, um, we're tuning scooters and some mopeds. So, 